Afternoon, everyone. Um, let me just start off by asking, how many of you actually use Veeam? My job just got a lot easier. So listen, I, I guess um, you've seen a lot today around cloud, what cloud means, um, securing the environment, um, making everything ready for that next step. But what I want to cover off today is, um, is about taking the right thinking steps to make sure the information that you own is ready for that ne next evolution. So I guess when we look at this, um, the, the challenge is that virtualization adoption is accelerated beyond where it was even a year ago. And the challenge with that is we're heading away from traditional, traditional thinking processes, and we're doing it at speed. And what we need to do is make sure that the back-end processes for data management and securing that environment keep up. So you know, there's, a lot, there's a lot of um, analysis and reports that go on around what's happening in the industry, um, wh what everything looks like. Um, I, I guess the three core challenges for people are around uh, the ability to increase capability, reduce complexity, and uh, reduce cost. So the challenge with that is traditional thinking processes have a compound negative impact on the ability to manage the modern data environment. And more importantly, it's getting worse. Um, you know, if you look at the time it takes to recover aspects of your environment, it gets worse. There's a bigger challenge. So what do we do about it? You know, for, for some customers out there, it takes them 24 hours, 24 hours plus to recover a legacy environment in its entirety. Um, and what you actually want is to be able to do it in a very, very reduced amount of time. Uh, but you're not able to do that because the tool sets that you're leveraging against it don't allow you that agility. Uh, and the ability to get there requires a massive reduction in the uh, time it takes and the process that you apply to achieve that. So the, the other challenge is, whichever way we look at it, um, the cost of managing data in the organizations and having availability is significant. The bigger challenge for a lot of organizations is that cost isn't clear. So reducing the complexity in those environments is key. The other challenge is that when people start to look at the ability to recover information and recover service streams, they're having to apply um, wholesale recovery processes in order to recover micro amounts of information. So you know, to recover a single file, you've got to recover a complete service stream in order to get into that information and recover the piece that's key for you. The other challenge is um, the achievable RTOs on that are disproportionate to the amount of information that you need to recover and you need to bring back. You know, the ability to recover emails that take 14 hours is just not appropriate to the way um, your IT investment is moving forward. In whole, it takes too long. So when we look at um, the complexity aspect, we have to ask the question of, you know, what are we doing? And you know, the analogy is, you wouldn't use a magnifying glass to do um, genome sequencing, because it's the wrong tool. It's an old tool. It's the old way of doing it. Um, and we need to have um, a, a different way of approaching 
this challenge that all organizations see. So what organizations need to try and achieve is predictable cost and marry that against the predictable growth that they want to try and achieve uh, as an organization. So how do we do that? What is modern data protection? Um, you know, the next few slides hopefully will, will show you a different way of, uh, of viewing the management of that information and some of the things that you can adopt in order to achieve it. So, you know, to, to I guess underline that, you know, the, the view from the industry is the wrong tools are being used to try and address a modern challenge. What's compounding this? Uh, I guess the biggest challenge is, you know, we, we've heard from uh, speakers throughout the day about what, what's happening in the environment. The, the, the data growth in your environments is only going one way, and it's upwards, and it's accelerating. Uh, as more tools are used uh, and um, different adoption of social media uh, uh, as a way of uh, interacting, data goes through the roof. Um, Equally importantly, as organizations, you're being driven to uh, expand your operating window. We're becoming more 24-7 as, a, as a, an overall environment. And the SLAs from the business that, that you work in are putting increasing demand on you as an organization to be able to recover things more accurately at more speed. So why doesn't the traditional process work? It's because it's an old way of thinking. There are inherent challenges with it. And it doesn't give you a complete solution. It's about embedding things. It's about um, doing things with an old thinking process. Uh, and it's a, about not leveraging the investment that you've made in your virtual space uh, and getting the most from it. Back to the three drivers that we, we talked at the beginning. You know, that old process, that old way of thinking is costly because it's not clear, it's not transparent with what that cost is going to uh, be and how it's going to impact the business. It's complex. It's very um, consultancy heavy. Change is not easy. The business isn't agile. And that old way of thinking um, introduces a lot of risk into your uh, flexible environment. Again, uh, as you move forward with organizations and your adoption of the virtual infrastructure, that's only going to get worse. So what can we do about it? You know, if we take those three uh, focus areas, We need to adopt tools that are powerful, easy to use, and affordable. You know, what else can you do with that information you've got in that abstracted environment? How easy can it be to leverage that and get business advantage? And how can you keep that cost profile predictable and, again, transparent? So we need to start thinking about Instant, you know, being able to recover instant files, instant VMs, instant environments, validation of that to take the risk out, any application, any service, and being able to utilize that information to give you uh, speed, within, speed for change within your virtual data center. So where can we show that? Um, you know, there's a, there's a plethora of case studies available that show that if you change your thinking and you apply technology, you can gain significant business advantage. Any data, any place, as many times in a day as you want. So the easy to use element, you know, taking out unnecessary technology, making it fluid and flexible, making it scalable, and making it automated, 
and marrying up to the way your architecture needs to evolve from a virtual environment. Take out the time. Make it work. And affordable, you know, using that technology and leveraging it to drive down ongoing cost. So if you manage it in a different way, if you secure it in a different way, and you interact with it in a different way, you can reduce that, you know, that, that edge cost of supporting infrastructure. So it's all well and good talking about it, but the ability to show that you've got a pedigree in this space and show that you're a company that's driven around driving innovation, understanding the speed at which technology changes and technology decisions change it is key. Uh, at Veeam, we have got a tool set that's built from the ground up to work in the virtual space. And we're able, on that basis, to show clear innovation and continue to show clear innovation um, through the evolution of our tool set. And more importantly, moving forward, is an investment that you make going to be able to keep up with your IT decision change and the other technology that's at the core of your IT data center. The latest uh, release that's due out this year will show a clear understanding of your organizational um, aspirations, the things that are important to you. And when we talk, you've talked today and you've heard today around cloud, what that means, uh, and the impact of cloud from a change point of view into your environments. It's about being able to have a product set which is ready to meet that challenge, the ability to integrate into that new world, and about being able to clearly drive significant functionality across um, that IT decision that you make. So do keep an eye on um, go.veeam.com version 7. Um, there's some more significant uh, functionality to be delivered uh, as we move through to our, our GA date. Uh, and hopefully we can turn those of you that aren't Veeam customers into uh, people that can drive significant advantage moving forward. Thank you very much.